I'm Rana El Kayubi, and I'm co-founder and chief scientist at an MIT startup called Affectiva. We've developed technology that automates the reading of facial expressions and maps that to different emotional states. So right now, the technology triangulates on the main features of your face, like your eyebrows, your eyes, and your mouth, and it tracks movements and texture changes of these regions to identify expressions like a smile, a disgust, a confusion, a smirk. Um, eyebrow raise and surprise expressions. It can also read your heart rate. Our main area of business is around understanding consumers' emotions and understanding how that drives consumer behavior. Everything from sharing content to viewing content to ultimately driving product sales. We recruit panelists that could be anywhere from Peru to remote areas in India. And um, we essentially, all we need is a, a, a device that has a webcam on it. They watch the content. This content gets streamed to our servers where we use computer vision algorithms to analyze the facial responses. We aggregate the responses um, for a specific content and then we show you moment by moment highlights of where people liked it, didn't like it. Often a lot of organizations struggle with understanding how consumers connect with their brands and so this moves them a step closer to getting these spontaneous reactions. Um, we've seen some of our clients um, optimize the ad um, so they can remove parts where people didn't, you know, didn't resonate with the content, they can shorten the ads, they can also change the order of the scenes um, and in some extreme cases you know decide not to go ahead with airing an ad. We're able to answer questions like how do emotions vary by culture, how does emotion expression vary by gender and by age. You can fool the system. It'll be hard, um, if, you, if you have a poker face, it'll be hard for the system to pick up your true emotional state. But by and large what we see is that, especially if you make people comfortable sharing their emotions, we see that you know, your, your emotions are reflected on your facial expressions. So we envision an app that can track your emotional experiences using a webcam, track that over the course of the day, and then give you emotion analytics, like how happy you were, how stressed you are, um, tie that to your calendar, um, recommend that you go for a walk, or exercise more. So emotions cut across every aspect of our lives, from how we connect with each other to our health and well-being, but also the decisions we make. So our vision is that emotion measurement technology is ubiquitous and allows you to capture various aspects of your experiences and apply them. So we're already seeing how this technology is improving how brands connect with their consumers. Um, and then, you know, we're, the next level is to take this out to learning experiences and improve how people learn. Um, but ultimately, we see a world where this technology helps you as an individual track your emotional experiences, manage your emotions, and ultimately have better um, lives.